Hey YouTube, this is my next video on my uh, module on exponential functions, and we're going to get into what we call the natural base, okay, the natural base E, and E is a number, it's named after Leonard Euler, okay, so uh, let's see if I remember how to spell his first name here, uh, I think it's, I think it's this, I, I could be wrong, Orly and Hard, you know, uh, but Euler, this is interesting, some people say Euler, it's Euler, okay, he's a Swiss mathematician, and he wrote a lot of papers, as a matter of fact, but without going into him too much, uh, this number is given... Uh, or accredited to him. And so we say E is about 2.718281828. I think it's 159. It goes on forever and ever. It's a transcendental number. But for the sake of us, we can remember that E is a number and it's about 2.718. Okay, but that, that being said, we say that the, the natural exponential function would have a base of E. So we call this the natural base uh, E. Okay, so instead of like, you know, 3 to the x or 4 to the x, we have 2.718281828 to the x. Okay, and so we, we use this so often that I just want to make sure that we're familiar with what the, the number e is in the first place and how to, uh, how to evaluate this function if I'm given a calculator. Okay, so we say using a calculator, this is all I want to do in this video, is saying given f of x, f of x equals e to the x or the natural base to the power of x, why don't we go find a few things using a calculator. And so this is on your calculators, as a matter of fact, I guarantee you the number e is on your calculators. But if we wanted to find f of 6.2, this would be the same thing as uh, e to the 6.2 power. And this will come in handy when we start evaluating for like compound interest. But we'll pull out the calculator here, uh, bring it down here so we can see a little bit easier. Uh, but you notice I have an e button here. I say e to the power of uh, 6.2, and it looks like we get about a 492.74. Uh, so we get approximately uh, 492.74. So we broke no sweat. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just want to point one thing out. This is uh, 2.718, so approximately 3. If I were to take 3 to the 6.2, uh, 3, 3 to the power of 6.2, I should get an answer that's slightly larger. That's slightly larger. 3 to the power of 6.2. This is many times larger, but you notice how the base has a very, very large effect on this. Okay, so we'll clear this out here. Uh, how, about, how about our next stop here? We say let's go find f of f of negative 0.4. Okay, so we'd say e to the power of, now we're putting in a negative, negative 0.4. Uh, so this is approximately, let's pull out the calculator here, get a little closer. We say e power of uh, 0.4 negative, and we get about 0 0.6703. So 0 0. Uh, 0.6703. So uh, we took 2 uh, 0.718 to the power of something negative and it diminished, okay? So recall that this would be the same thing. I'm just, I just want to point this out. E to the negative 0.4 would be the same thing as 1 over E to the positive 0.4. So really, um, you know, we diminished this is what we essentially did. And then last but not least, how about uh, F of negative 7.1? Writing this out, we'd say this is E to the negative 7.1. That's the same thing as 1 over E to the positive 7.1. But this should be rather small when we do this, okay? So we say, all right, uh, I've got e power of uh, 7.1 negative, ooh, okay, so 0 0.0008 or 0.00.0.0083-ish, okay? But uh, this is the natural log base or the natural exponent base, e. It's equal to 2.718, and you can use your calculator to evaluate for uh, the natural uh, exponential function as having e as its base.